I'm pretty much good with eggs all day. I love them for breakfast, love them for lunch, love them for dinner, and this is a recipe that will span all those meal times. Toasted flatbread with sauteed mushrooms and baked eggs. I'm gonna get started on my flatbread first. Always start with the whole wheat flatbread if you can find it. You'll have more complex carbohydrates, dietary fiber, generally less sugar. And toast this over a gas flame. If you don't have an open gas flame, you can also use a broiler until very lightly charred. All right, that looks great. We'll let this cool for a bit. Now I'm gonna heat a pan over medium heat and add three tablespoons of olive oil. To that, one clove of garlic, very thinly sliced. So a great way to avoid burning your garlic is to bring your oil and your garlic up together and heat on the pan. So we've got the garlic going, it's infusing the oil. To that, add mushrooms. So we're gonna use one pound of an assortment of mushrooms. I've got cremini, trumpet, shiitake, and we wanna add these in batches. Season with salt, a little bit of pepper. So while those are cooking, I'll finish chopping up the rest of my mushrooms here. Cremini, which are baby portobellos, another shiitake, and an oyster cluster. Really, really delicious. Mushrooms are one of the nutritional powerhouses, such a superfood. They're a great source of protein and lots of very beneficial compounds. Now I'm leaving the stems on, I just thinly slice here. Now for the cluster of oyster mushrooms, I like to sort of leave these larger lobes intact, just kind of peel them apart. Let's check our first batch here. They're smelling wonderful. So just push these off to the side and we'll add the last batch. Again, season with a little bit of salt and pepper. So it's been about 10 minutes. My mushrooms are nice and tender, a little golden around the edges. So to this mixture, I'm adding one tablespoon of picked thyme leaves, seasoned with some red pepper flakes, give that a stir, and deglaze with some white wine. I have a quarter cup here. This is gonna release all that delicious mushroom crust behind. And just use a wooden spoon to scrape up all the bits. Turn the heat down to low here. Tear up the bread into about two inch pieces here. Give that a good stir. So now, make four little wells for the eggs. One there, one there, one here, and one here. And then crack four large eggs into each well. Cook this at 425 degrees until the whites are just set, which will be about four minutes. Ooh, these look great. It's been about four minutes. My whites are just set, but my yolks are a little runny, the way I like it. We need to season the eggs, a little salt, and a little red pepper flake. Gorgeous. Now, let's try. I cannot wait to dig in here. Either use a spatula or a flat wooden spoon. That's gonna help pull everything out. Oh, beautiful. Let's give it a try. If you prefer a yolk that's a little bit more set, just leave them in the oven a couple more minutes. Let's try a bite, this looks delicious. Mmm, 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 really tasty. This is a super simple one pot meal for any time of day.